the science, though, that's the basis for all of this that Correct. we're going to be talking about. Because we're finally arriving in a place where science is starting to be able to identify the mechanics of that concept of oneness. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, it's all one. It's another thing to be able to demonstrate how that is the case and understand the mechanics of it, which is really important. Yes, so uh, let's, let's jump to something related here. Your research concludes that the universe appears to be a holographic structure in which each point contains the whole, contains the whole. Right. What are, what are the implications in this? What well, does that mean just for people that... Uh, right, uh, it might sound really right. esoteric, but uh, actually, um, you know, it's, it, it's a function of a hologram is that uh, you can cut it and cut it and cut it, and each time you're going to get all the information that was there plus a resolution change, you know, every time you cut it. But, but if you have a hologram of an apple and you, 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 um, you hit it with a laser, you'll get an image of an apple appearing in the, three, in, in the space. Um, well, if you cut that plate in half, you'll still get the apple. And if you cut it in a quarter, you can still get the apple, but it's going to get more and more fuzzy. What I've written in physics is basically this idea that you have different scales and each one represents a certain level of coherency of the information. And basically you have screening across the scales that makes it so they have different energy levels, right? And um, the energy uh, screening, the the thermodynamics of this screening is actually what we see as mass, electromagnetic fields, and uh, charge, and all this that makes up our reality. So that, <coughs> it, I'm sorry, it's one thing, right? But it is uh, continuously, um, you know, uh, changing uh, at different scales. And so that all of a sudden, um, you get a sense that um, the, the system is interacting in such a way that at any point you could have the information of the whole. Now, when you write the equation, it happens to come out that way. That is, when you look at a proton, you can uh, look at the function of that proton and uh, in mathematically get the temperature of the universe, the mass of the universe, the radius of the universe. You can get information about the universe because of the relationship of this one teeny proton to the rest of the universe if you understand this scaling function and how things work. So, so it's holographic, meaning that at any point in the field, you can have the information of the whole. And uh, it tells us that since we're made out of these protons, since we're made out of these atoms and that makes up the cells and so on, that in some ways we have a path to infinite amount of information, that we have a path to understanding the fundamental structure of the universe and so on, like that we can understand reality at its deepest level because clearly we're made of that same reality. And if we understand these mechanics, then we understand ourselves at the really deep level. So uh, a, a lot of times people will share that uh, a drop of the ocean actually has all of the ocean in the drop. Is, is this analogous to what we're talking about here now? Yeah, it's similar. It's, it's you know, it's, it was in ancient philosophy and Buddhist thinking and many other different cultures, um, this idea of hologram, this idea of one, the, the small containing the, the big. Um, and uh, now we have a formalism that says, well, this is not just a nice thought, this is actually how things work, which is a big difference, meaning when it's a philosophy, it's wonderful, right? And it's a wonderful thought. It's difficult to integrate. How am I the chair? How am I, you know, the tree over there? How, you know, but when you sit under the lens of the mechanics of physics and all of a sudden the math tells you how it's connected, how it's entangled, basically that you're part of this incredible network that connects all things. Um, 
then it starts to make sense, right? It starts to make sense because everything is interdependent on everything else and everything is related to each other in its evolution and so on. So all of a sudden you start to feel, you know, oh yes, this concept of oneness and this concept of the small contains the whole, um, you know, starts to sink in to you and you start to realize, well, yeah, you know, I'm a hundred trillion cell, 50 to a hundred trillion cell, right? Each cell is made of a hundred trillion atoms, right? That's already a lot of information. It's a very complex system, right? It's a hundred trillion multiplied by a hundred trillion is a big number. And then you have each one of these atoms made of sub Planckian, like Planckian particles, there are like billions and trillions and trillions of them for each proton. And so now you realize, wow, like the complexity of me is really, really high. And when you think of yourself, all of a sudden you think of yourself in a different way, you know, maybe you don't think of yourself anymore as just one thing, but you think of yourself as a a composition of an incredible amount of information and energy. And when and, and this information moving through the scales produce thermodynamic effects. And that's why you burn at almost a hundred, you know, Fahrenheit 24-7 for like hopefully a hundred <laughs> years, right? And that is non-trivial. You know, it, it's it's carnal engine, it's 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 producing energy and, and as you as you do things in the space, as you move, as you think, as you experience, as you, you know, feel emotions and all this, you're actually modifying, you're informing the space, you're informing the universe of your experience. And then the, the universe collective experiences feed you back uh, more and more transformative experiences in which you adapt and interpret as well and so on. And so you get this feedback between this oneness and, and you, which you're part of, and, uh, and then you start to feel the impact you have and the importance of what you do and what you think and how you feel and so on. And now you, you get a sense of responsibility and then that's a whole other story, you know?